Hello there, and welcome to the Worst Possible Commander Show. It's me, it's CGB. I'm here with my friends. Hi, this hey. is Blake. Hi. <laughs> that's Ben. Hello. And that's Shay. Hello. And we're here to play Commander for you. We're sponsored by CoolStuffInc.com. The promo code is WORST. You can get a discount when you buy your magic cards. <laughs> you can also... Why does it sound like a secret? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can... Uh, changing it up, okay? I've got, I've got to be this guy the whole time or they don't recognize me. Fine, we'll do it. Ultimate Guard. All right, they sponsor the show too. There's a link in description. Get your Ultimate Guard stuff. I'll talk up here. It's fine. I was trying a conversational thing. All right? I don't like being in a box. Anyway, worst possible. Uh, we talk about the worst thing we can do to each other. I am bringing back Pantalaza. Back. Sun favored. Yeah, Ben, you played Pantalaza yeah. before. Did you win? I don't think so. No, you didn't. <laughs> you know why? Because you did it wrong. Oh, Damn! Right. Let him know! <laughs> this is not a, ooh, look how many dinos I have in my deck card. No. no. This is a value card. Oh. Because when Ugh. it enters the battlefield or another dinosaur enters the battlefield, you discover uh, you discover X, where X is its toughness. So I'm gonna make a bunch of dinosaurs enter the battlefield, leave the battlefield, and enter the battlefield. I'm gonna panharmonicon stuff, I'm gonna make copies of stuff, You're and I'm gonna discover my whole deck. Because <laughs> as a kid, discovering dinosaurs is all I ever wanted to do in life. <laughs> You're playing Dinosaur Blink? You made Dinosaur Blink too happen. Too bad they're all extinct. Not all of them. <laughs> There's a couple lying around. All birds, whatever. Yeah. This just hurts, man. <laughs> CGB's close to dinosaurs. You just, you just came out firing shots, man. <laughs> uh, anyway, probably the worst possible thing in my deck will be a taking a really long turn where I discover like 12 times that you guys hate that, you hate that. I love it, I don't care. <laughs> uh, but I have this card, Legion Loyalty, that gives all creatures I control Myriad, and if I do that thing, yeah, yeah you guys, are, yeah. you're gonna love it. It's gonna be great. <laughs> uh, even if I have to legend rule this, each copy will discover, so that'll be fun. Uh, so on this cool, calm, and casual intro, I'm gonna kick things over to my friend Blake, who's gonna tell me what commander he's playing and what the worst possible thing it can do is. Blake. Well, thanks for the toss over there, buddy. I'm playing Admiral Beckett Brass, which for those of you who might have remembered the second episode of the show, I played Admiral Beckett Brass, and spoiler alert, CGB did some, some rude dude stuff. But, we did bring back the cool pirate <laughs> hat. Whoa. So, it's, it's legit. So this is just an aggressive pirate deck. I've got a lot of cheap pirates that are, I'm gonna be trying to trigger Admiral Beckett Brass' second ability, where if I deal th damage with three pirates, I gain control of a non-land permanent. So I've got a bunch of pirates. I also have the emergency shutoff valve of Glenhorn Buccaneer and Malcolm Kenai Navigator, which if I can get both these cards out, spend two mana, I deal infinite combat damage, or infinite non-combat damage to everybody mm -hmm. and win the game pretty much. So we're gonna see how we end. This is the shutoff valve. If we can't win the game quick enough, <laughs> we're gonna kill him the old-fashioned way. We call it the editor Brent shutoff valve. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Where we save him. Ben, what's going on over there, buddy? Yeah, Ben. So you're, you got some CEDH Hi, stuff for us, to us too? Yeah. <laughs> Tell us, Ben. You know what's better than infinite damage? Well, really before infinite, infinite mana. <laughs> Are you sure? Are you saying <laughs> infinite mana better than infinite damage? No. Now, CGB, would you calmly or non-calmly agree with that? Or disagree? You know, it's Ben, so I agree. Nice. Okay. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm bringing back Kenan Bonder Prodigy. It's semi-sea creature-ish. Anyway, I got Basalt Monolith as my worst possible make infinite mana to just activate its ability tons of times. Now, if you do that, does the yes. game end, or do you just have like 30 sea serpents and pass the and turn? Pass. I don't have a concordant crossroads, so that might be what happens. <laughs> or an extra turn card? No, I don't, right. I don't, I don't play those. The old like, winning board like, staying like, pass, yeah. okay. Yeah. Love you, Ben. <laughs> Never change. Yeah. Shay, who have you brought with you? What's the worst thing you're going to do to us? Uh, well, today I brought my favorite spooky guy. It's Edgar Markov. And I know what you're thinking, we've seen him before, Shay, we get it, you like vampires, but the new set had some cool vampires in it. So, for my worst possible, it's it's all of them. Ooh. All of them. It's all so of them. much vampire synergy. If there are vampires on the board, you should be afraid. 
And you've got some fresh blood, some new recruits for Edgar out of the Lost Caverns of Ixalan. So hopefully we'll see how those shine in your vampiric build. Yes. Well, this intro has been a roller coaster of <laughs> I don't know what. So let's just end it and get into the games. <laughs> let's dive in. Let the nonsense begin. I won the die roll, which means I'm basically a favorite to win. I'll draw this card for turn, I'll play this tapped Crimson Verge, and I'll pass to Blake. All right, well, I will draw for turn. I will play Volcanic Island. <clears throat> I will Chrome Mox, exiling, exiling Dire Fleet Daredevil. And I will play an Arcane Signet. Ooh. Yo. Are okay. you finished? Do you, oh. <laughs> oh, oh boy. My God. Oh boy. It begins. I I are. <laughs> okay. I'll draw for turn. I'll play a myriad landscape and pass. Okay. I'll draw for turn. I'm gonna play a sacred foundry, which will enter tapped, and I'll pass. Bunch of tap lands over here. Uh yeah, it's called Fair Magic <laughs> Blake. I didn't get the memo. <laughs> we know. <laughs> I'll play Wooded Foothills, and I'm gonna crack it, and I'm gonna go find the card Taiga, and I'm gonna tap it for green, and I'm gonna cast a Bird of Paradise, and I'm done. All right, I will untap, draw for turn. I will play a Badlands. I will spend four mana to play Breaches, Brazen Plunderer. So this is a 3-3 Menace. Uh, whenever one or more pirates I control deal combat damage to opponents, exile the top card of the opponent's libraries, can play it this turn. I can spend mana zones any color. Ooh. Go ahead, Ben. I'll untap, draw for turn. Play a reliquary tower. Don't don't mind these, you know, colorless lands. <laughs> I'll play a Simic Summit, Signet, and pass. Untap, draw. I'm gonna play a Godless Shrine, which will enter tapped. Then I'll pass the turn. Ooh, untap, draw. Arid Misa. Uh, I'm going to pass the turn. I will untap. Draw for turn. Go to combat. I will attack Ben because he won last game for three. And because I think he might hit out a mana dork. Huh. Exile the top card. I can play it this turn. I can spend mana of any, mana of any color. Ooh. Oh, oh, that's not just a mana dork. <laughs> ben! Not my fault. I didn't know it was what there. What have you done? Oh, a shit. mana vault? Good, good hit, Blake. Oh, you don't even. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah do I not? I'm going to play mana vault. I'm gonna tap Mana Vault and two more for a Port Razor. Oh. I oh, remember this oh, card. Oh, jeez. <laughs> just lets me get extra combat, Shay's, Shay's dream. Yeah, it's the card I played when I played Pirates where I hit you, then hit you, then hit you. Yeah, that one. Okay, sweet. And, and then I'll pass. I'll untap, draw for turn. <laughs> Play a Vine Glimmer Snarl as my land for turn. I'm gonna tap three for a Dark Steel Ingot. And I'll pass the shit. Yep, that's a three mana rock you got there. <laughs> Indestructible. <laughs> uh, on your end step, Ben. Gonna pay a white for swords to plow shares targeting the port razor. Oh, wow. If Shay can't have extra combats, no one yeah, can. Yeah, I guess. Um, the I'll, jealousy was too much. Classic I'll my vampire <laughs> over there. <laughs> okay, then I'll untap. Draw. Okay, I'm gonna pay three for a welcoming vampire. Oh, hi, welcoming vampire. Hello. Oh, you guys welcomed her. No. <laughs> <laughs> so when I cast the welcoming vampire, that's gonna trigger my friend Edgar Markov and uh, make a vampire. <laughs> so now the welcoming vampire has a friend. I have end step effects. I'm going to crack my crows and verge and go get a plains and a forest. I'm also going to save time by cracking the Arid Mesa and searching for a, another plains slash mountain. I've chosen to go for the full money bags mana base. I've got a Plateau, Savannah, and Jetmir Garden. Nice. nice. <laughs> Don't blood moon me. Uh, untap <laughs> and draw. Drop a land. Why the heck not? I'm gonna cast Elish Norn, Mother of Machines. Okay. 
That prevents ETBs? It does. It prevents ETBs. Hmm. Unless you're me, in which case it doubles <laughs> ETBs. Thanks. Uh, so yeah, uh, assuming that totally resolves, I will pass the turn. It totally does. Okay, cool. I will untap. In my upkeep, I will take one damage from the Mana Vault, Ben's Mana Vault. I will draw. All right, I will play a Misty Rainforest. I will crack the Misty Rainforest. All right, I'm going to play Broadside Bombardiers, which is a 2-2 two, two Menace Haste, and I can sacrifice another creature or artifact, and this guy deals damage equal to two plus the sacrifice permanence mana value to any target. So I can sack it to do X plus two, where that's its mana value. I'm going to hard cast Ragavan. <laughs> is that a monkey? <laughs> that was very good. Monkey. Thank you. Monkey! They are my people. <laughs> I'm gonna move to combat. Breaches is gonna go at Shay. Broadside Bombardiers is gonna go at Ben. I'm gonna trigger Boast. I'm gonna sacrifice Ben's Mana Vault and do three damage to Welcoming Vampire. Ooh, that's oh. nasty. Oh. <laughs> wow. Removal for removal. A card advantage. Dude. Well, I'll be darned. The vampires will remember this, Blake. <laughs> they live a long time, they rarely forget. <laughs> okay, you guys will each take, uh, you'll take three and two, three and two, and you guys will both exile the top card of your library and I can play it this turn. That would be Marsh Flats and Simic Charm. You guys' cards suck. You guys are good. Exiled. Yep, exiled. And then I'm gonna pass. Okay, I'll untap. Draw for turn. Tap two to play Kenan. Play Orin Reef, the Vasswood is my land for turn. And you may go, Shay. All right, I'll untap. Draw. Then I'll tap two for a Talisman of Conviction. Then I will pay three to cast Captivating Vampire. Ooh. So on the cast, uh, I'll get an Edgar Markov trigger and make another vampire. Um, so Captivating Vampire says other vampire creatures you control get plus one, plus one. And then I can also tap five untapped vampires you control to gain control of target creature. It becomes a vampire in addition to its other types. <laughs> I'm gonna move to combat and I'm gonna send a vampire to Blake. I will take it. I also think I didn't take my two from Steam Vents, so I'm gonna do that now. And that's actually two damage on this vampire because it gets a plus one from the captivating vampire. Then I'll take another damage. <laughs> Any other damage anyone wants to <laughs> remind me of? Oh yeah. <laughs> we'll get there. We'll get okay. There. Uh, pass to you, CGB. All right, let's freaking go. Mm. Yeah, let's shock this sacred foundry into play. I'm so excited I take two. Now, Let's do it. Pant Laza. <laughs> so when this enters the battlefield, I am going to discover X, where X is the creature's toughness. Do this once a turn, but it's going to trigger twice because of Elishnor, mother of machines. So two discovery triggers for four. Mm. You ready for value dinos? Mm -hmm. I'm excited for you. Discover four. Brotherhood's End. Um, it can deal three damage to each creature and each planeswalker, or it can destroy all artifacts with mana value three or less. Ooh! Oh man, those oh. are both good options. Oh, Jeez. I'm gonna put this on the stack to deal three damage to each creature and each planeswalker, you guys. That, that seems really good to me. Uh, holding priority, I'm going to float a, let's call it a green mana. Well? Yeah, it's good. Ben? I will tap the Dark Seal Ingot for two to sacrifice my Merry Landscape to get two islands. <laughs> Can I get a reroll? I'm it. pretty sure that he gave me the finger while he also <laughs> sacked that Mirrored Landscape. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, other than that, no response. Uh, all right, three damage to all creatures. Second discover trigger. Aura shards. Oh, <laughs> this guy. Okay. <laughs> we'll put that wow. aura shards onto the battlefield. That's pretty cool. I uh, don't have a use for the mana in the mana pool, so I'm going to move to combat. And then the great Elish Norn is going to slap Blake for four. Okay, I'll take four. And I'll pass the turn. All right, I'll untap. I am going to spend four mana. And I'm going to play my commander. And I'm going to pass. All right, I'll untap. Cast a soul ring. 
Tap two in this whole ring to bring Ken back up. Welcome back. Play Nova Gen Heart of Progress for my land for turn. Okay, I'll tap that for three from the Signet. Four, five, six, seven. Top five. We're spinning the Kinnon wheel. Yeah. Spinning Kinnon. Okay. Is it as good as a Gishath hit? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> What is it then? It's an incubation drew. Oh, well. Okay. Literally, the other four were all basic lands. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Shay. Okay, I'll untap. I'll play a Phyrexian Tower as my land for turn. Then I'm going to tap six to cast Edgar Markov. Um, yep, so he's a 4 4 with first strike and haste. Whenever he attacks, put a 1-1 one, one counter on each vampire you control. I'm gonna move to combat. Uh, I'm gonna send Edgar to Ben for four. I will not block. Okie doke. Cool, so yep, on attack, um, Edgar will get a plus one, plus one counter from his own ability. Uh, pass to you, CGB. <laughs> Untap. And rot. I can't believe I'm here with these cards. This is so great. Combat. <clears throat> Cannon. Attack Ben. Both creatures. Damn. 4-4 four, four and a 4-7. Yeah, I'm not gonna block that. I I know it's sea creature Kinnon. It's still Kinnon. <laughs> Kinnon's scary. Uh, after that, I have a riveting play. Don't act like you're not impressed. I'm gonna have uh, three visits. Yes, Whoa! My library Whoa. for a forest. Oh my gosh, is that the oh, new forest? The Wait, does that come into play tapped or untapped? Untapped, Whoa! I think. I know. Oh. So spicy. <laughs> I mean, you know, you guys could you know, like tone it down, touch, and the editor could just throw in some uh, applause or something. Well, we were trying to make, we we're trying to help them. Mm -hmm. hey. we're, we're saving them. <laughs> okay, okay. That's all I'm doing. That's it. That's it. Go ahead. All right, I'm gonna untap. All right, I'm gonna spend three mana. I'm going to cycle a Xander's Lounge. What? You miss a land drop though. Yeah. That's how bad you need this card? Wow. <laughs> That's insane. Well, my deck caps out at basically five. So I need the non-lands more. I hate mother of whatever. Machines? <laughs> yeah. Mother of machines? You got a problem with mom? Yeah, I do. You got a mommy issue? <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you move to combat. Shay? Three. Okay. Yep. Pass the turn. All right. I'll untap. Okay, I'm gonna tap two for three visits. Oh my god! <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> wow. It's not that exciting, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna tap three. Get the old Cassetto Orochi Arc Mage out. <laughs> what? Yeah, that'll go. It's a 2-2 two, two for a Simic. A target creature can't be blocked this turn. If it's a snake, it gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. Love it! <laughs> I'll tap five to uh, adapt my Incubation Druid. So now it taps for four, four. with Kinnon. Mm. <clears throat> and I'll pass to Yusha. Actually, to a Blake. <laughs> Send a message. Okay. Message received. Okay, now your turn. Okay. All right, I'll untap. I'm going to play an herb pork as my land for turn. Then I'll pay three for a Phyrexian altar. Woo! Yay! Yay. A target. <laughs> Yay! Um, then I guess I'll also pay one for a Legion's Landing. Ooh, when that enters, it doesn't do anything. It do that is correct. <laughs> that is about half as good. <laughs> Maybe correct. more than half, actually. <laughs> but Ooh. when I attack with three or more creatures, I could transform it. All right. Well, I'm going to move to combat. And I'm going to attack with Edgar Markov, and that's going to go to Ben. So on attack, it gets another uh, plus one, plus one. So it is a 6-6. Six, six. Hmm. With first strike. I will not block. Okay. I can six. Okay, that's it. I'll pass the turn. Okay, uh, let's go to my turn. Untap, draw. Combat. Blake, mm -hmm. you, you have such mommy <laughs> issues. <laughs> I'm, gonna give you a, I'm gonna give you four more damage for the mommy issues. <laughs> 
And uh, Shay, I'm gonna give you four dino damage. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll take the mom damage. Yeah, no blocks. Then I expect some I expect an equalish level of hype because I'm gonna cast a nature's level. Holy fuck the moly! Oh my gosh, woo! That enters on tab too, Blake. And what does that get? Does that get a, a forest? forest? Oh yeah. my god. Wow. Well, it's like it's the same card as three <sighs> visits, but different because it's got a different name. True. And uh, after that, I'm done. I'm gonna untap, draw for turn. I'm gonna play Prismatic Vista. Oh. Ooh. I'm gonna crack it. I'm gonna spend three to play Coastline Marauders, which is an 0-3 trample. <laughs> Whenever it attacks, it gets plus one, plus O for each land defending player controls. Mm -hmm. And it's got Encore for four and two red. Yo ho, Shay, yo -ho. is it time for an age old feud to end? Nope, I'm gonna tag you for three. <laughs> you it was a rhetorical question. <laughs> wow. Three commander too. I can't believe you. Um, and then I'm gonna Hey, yes. I, at your end step, Blake, I'm gonna tap one for the signet for three and my incubation druid to do Kinnon's activated ability. He knows how flash works. Dang. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Non-human, I believe. Non-human. Uh, okay. The, the whiff? <laughs> the whiff, yeah. Oh. They were good cards, but no creatures. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll go to my turn. I'll tap three for a Lanamore tribe. Another dork that taps for four? Please. <laughs> Go ahead, Shay. <laughs> I'm just gonna chill right now. Just Not the, even an unblockable yeah. snake can entice him. They're just uh, they're just small little critters right now. Oh, well, got nothing better to do. Tap in five for an exquisite blood. <laughs> Whenever, and which one is that one? Whenever an opponent loses life, you gain that much life. Oh. Interesting. Well, cool. I'm going to move to combat. I'm going to attack with Edgar Markov. This time it's going to go to CGB. Mm. What have I ever done? <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> On attack, it'll get a 1-1 one, one counter, so it's swinging in for 7. 7, huh? Damn. You could always block with Elish Norn. <laughs> it'll take I no, could. You could. It'll take uh, no damage. Or I could take 7. <laughs> I could definitely take seven. Uh, yep, uh, it will go down to 29 and that's seven Edgar Commander. Sweet, and when you lose seven life, I'll gain seven life. Enjoy. That's it for me, I'll pass to you. All right, I'll untap and draw. Oh, come on, buddy. You're cheering for me? Yeah. Yeah? You want me <laughs> You want me to like play a dinosaur? No, I want you to play a rampant girl. <laughs> it's gonna like, re what, if I, <laughs> what if I told you I could do both? Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna guess Topiary Stomper. <laughs> nice, okay. nice, okay. nice, nice, nice. All right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I've got triggers. Uh, does this resolve? Yes. Okay. okay. I've got double Aura Shards, I've got double Discover, and I've got double ETB on the Stomper to search for two lands. I have to name the targets for the Shards. I'm gonna stack it so the these two things happen first. The Shards is going to target the Exquisite Blood, and the soul ring. All right, so I'm gonna go fetch two basic lands. Uh, I found a plains and a mountain. Now we're going to discover four. So we get a land tax. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. And we get a jeweled lotus. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, great cut from your boy. Yeah, nice play. <laughs> So, uh, Aura Shards resolves. Exquisite Blood and Soul Ring, please. I have a response. Do you know? <gasps> that 14 and use Kinnon twice. My first uh, one uh, is Spawning Kraken. Mm. Whenever Kraken, Leviathan, Octopus, <coughs> or Serpent you control deals combat damage to a player, create a 9 9 Kraken creature token. I've had that on the battlefield. Nice. That card's good. Okay, next one Merc Fiend Liege. Mm. Other green and blue creatures get plus one, plus one and untap all green and or blue creatures during each other player's untap step. Uh, all right, or shards uh, resolve. Soul ring down. Oh yeah, and exquisite blood is down. And with that, I'm going to combat. Shay used my life as a resource. I don't take kindly to that. Mom, <laughs> hit you for four. Oof, no blocks. Go ahead, Blake. <laughs> Alrighty, I will untap. At your untap, Blake, I'll untap my incubation druid. I will play Mana Confluence. 
Gonna go to combat. CGB, yes. as always, you're welcome to block with mom. Am I? Coastline Marauders at you. Shay, once more into the breach. <laughs> All right, talk to me about the size of the suffering. It is, um, I believe you have 10 lands on the battlefield, and I have yeah, Admiral that's me. Beckett, so I that is an 11-14 trample. 11-14. Juicy. Oh, no, that is, yep, so it's actually an 11-4. An 11-4? Yeah. Hmm, I'm actually going to block with my commander. Yeah. The sun favored. I was kind of thinking of it. All right, um, good block. Pantzilla, let's go. <laughs> that's, how, that's how this guy's always wanted to die. So yeah, I think that's good. Uh, we'll trade here and you will take seven. Seven, seven. Nice. I'll go down to 22. And Shay takes three more commander, but you had nine commander. Nine commander. Nice. Beckett's getting there. And then I'm gonna pass. Okay, I on it. Draw for turn. I'm gonna tap two for an Ornithopter of Paradise. Going to combat. I'm gonna swing at Spawning Kraken at CGB. The, these two at Blake. And a Merkfiend Liege at Shay. Hmm, spreading it around, mm. huh? Anything before I block that Kraken? <clears throat> yes. I'm gonna pump it. Tapping eight with those. I'm gonna tap these two guys to make each attacking creature unblockable with the snake's ability. And that one gets plus two plus two because it is a snack? Yes, it is. Okay. Boo! <laughs> no, Bloxies. Yeah. So that's six coming at CGB. Actually seven, oh. right, because of the yes, liege? Yes, seven because of the liege. Okay. Ten, Ten coming at Blake and four coming at Shay. Okay, damage, let's go. Mm-hmm. I will take seven, going to 15, and that is from the spawning Kraken, so that has an ability, right? Yep, I'll make it 9 9 Kraken. Okay, there's my token Kraken. Love 9 it. 9. Uh, second main, I think I'll tap seven to do Ken's ability. It's a curiosity <laughs> crafter, guys. I have no maximum hand size, and whenever a creature token deals damage to a player, I get to draw a card. Okay, go ahead, Shay. Hmm, okay. <laughs> Add your okay. untap, Shay. I'll untap my creatures. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Excellent, great. Well, so I know obviously Ben terrifying right now, What's but, but, but I think my only hope is that you will block with this Elish <laughs> Norn. What if I promise to block with Elish Norn? Ooh. That would make my day. That would truly <laughs> make my day. Yeah, wow. Day. I will. I'll block with Alishnoy. Okay, perfect. I'm going to move to combat. I'm going to swing with Edgar Markov. When I do, he's going to get a 1-1 one, one counter, making him an 8-8. Eight, eight. Excellent. I will block with Elish Norn, the mother of machines. That was such an evil excellent. I can't even believe it. <laughs> I, I was like, wait. Okay. Before damage. Oh, oh my god. god. The god. monkey's paw. I will cast Semester's End. This is an instant. I'm trying to exile any number of creatures I control uh, and then return them to the battlefield at the beginning of the next end step with plus one, plus one counters on them. So I'm going to target the two creatures I have. Pardon me. <gasps> I'll spend three for a force of negation. <laughs> Targeting semester's end. Whoa. <laughs> Whoops. Whoops. Whoopsie. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that gets uh, exiled. And uh, yeah, uh, Shay, you killed my mom. <laughs> Mom's oh, gone, well. who wants to have a party? <laughs> also, how about the weird team up there? Yeah, I know. Yeah. No, it's I thought you two I were enemies. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, we're, we're friends by like, only when necessary. <laughs> Allies of convenience. Because now I'm attacking Shay next And turn. why are we the problem? <laughs> There's this! Because I have a card that I've not been able to cast all game because of your stupid Elvish Norm. Okay. We need, we need a fighting chance here. Okay. You're probably expecting something splashier. But... Yeah. She died for this. My mom died for this. Shay. <laughs> it's a Herald's Horn! <laughs> it's not a vampire. <laughs> it's not a vampire. But, but when it enters the battlefield... What do you say? What do you name? I'm choosing vampires. That counts. And, <laughs> woo! Okay, so they cost one less, and at the beginning of my upkeep, I can look at the top card of my library. 
And if it's a creature card, that's a vampire, I can put it into my hand. Thanks, like Shay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I will pass the turn. All right, so. At um, Shay's end step, actually. I'm going to tap two for eight and Kinnon again. Okay, we got a rampaging Bayloths. Yo, you hey, just an... grabbed any creature man value six or higher. <laughs> so. I'm done. <laughs> yeah, I'll untap. I'll untap my creatures. That must be nice. It is. I'll draw for turn. I'll play the sweet Jurassic Park command tower to assert dominance. <laughs> dominance <laughs> asserted. Quote, they're dinosaurs. Wow enough. <laughs> I'm going to tap all my mana. Uh, I'm going to cast Zakama, Primal Calamity. <laughs> All right, I'll untap all lands I control. I do have two mana floating. Yeah. I'm gonna crack the Jeweled Lotus, and then I'm gonna tap two more, and I'm going to cast my commander. Uh, by the way, uh, this entering the battlefield triggers aura shards. Let's blow up. When in doubt, pick the most expensive artifact on the battlefield, Chrome Mox. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> All right, uh, if my pant, if pant, if Pantzilla. If Pantzilla enters the battlefield, I get another Aura Shards trigger. Does that resolve? Yeah, you got it, buddy. Uh, I, I mean, Shay, you came so hard and you tried, you got so far for this Herald's Horn. I think it's only right to just destroy the Phyrexian altar. Oh, thank God. Oh, nice. Now we'll discover four, because that is this dino's toughness. Tranquil Frillback. Uh, I'll go ahead and cast that one. When this enters the battlefield, I can pay green up to three times. Uh, when I pay this cost that many times, I choose destroy an artifact or enchantment, exile graveyard, or gain four life. So I will pay three times. That sounds wonderful. Uh, so Aura Shards trigger. We're gonna blow up the Simic Signet. Tranquil Frillback will target the Ornithopter of Paradise. It will target Blake's graveyard. And I will gain four life, going to 19. Vigilance attack. Uh, Shay, four points from a plant dino. <laughs> you played a part in my mom's demise. Uh, four? Yep. No blocks. All right, after that, your turn. I'm gonna play Murkwater Pathway. I'm gonna move immediately to combat and attack Shay for three. <laughs> <laughs> what? I, Pirates just can't block, We've got our apparently. own little sub game going on over here where I'm three at a time gonna kill her with commander damage. <laughs> No blocks. Nice. <laughs> Insert comment. The threat assessment in these games never seems You tell to me who I should have attacked there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I will play Hostage Taker. Ooh. If that enters, I'm going to target Merkfiend Liege. Oh, I like that. In response, I'll do this and the kitten thing. Nuzzle Hall. <laughs> oh! Oh, it's a dinosaur. It's a dinosaur, yeah. The, an elder dinosaur. I love that. And that will resolve. Here Thanks, buddy. Wow. And I'm going to pass. Before Whoa. Ben's turn. Oh, okay. Zakama, kill unblockable machine. I, I will pay two and buff it with its own ability. I expected this. I will shoot it again with Zakama. <laughs> no. Okay, fine. He's dead. He That's the line. gone. He tried. He found yeah. the line. Oh, I will make a 4 4 green beast from that. There's my beastie boy. Like, I'm coming at you. Uh huh. With six, seven, nine, and six. Because you have his merc fiend. Yeah, you stole my merc fiend lead. To prevent one of you, one of the nine nines from spawning, I will block uh, the spawning kraken. And then go down with my ship. <laughs> and did a token hit? Yes. A token so did. That hit. would trigger your uh, bird wizard? Yes, I will draw mm -hmm. a card. I'm gonna do the Kinnon thing. <laughs> Great. When in doubt, Kinnon out. Awesome. <laughs> nice. <laughs> we got an Elder Gargara. I'm gonna do it again. Nothing. No. You may go, Shay. Yeah, you're on tap. I'll untap all my creatures. On my upkeep, my Herald Sword triggers. Let's go. Oh, man. I'll tap five for a Vanquisher's Banner. When it enters, I'm going to choose Vampires. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. Uh, oh. And Vampires get plus one, plus one. And whenever I cast a creature spell the chosen type, draw a card. You got a big mark off. I do have a big mark off. I get a draw a card off Nezzle Hall Primal Time. 
from the Vanquisher's Banner. All right, I'm gonna move to combat. I'm gonna send Edgar Markov to Ben. And when I attack, he gets a plus one, plus one counter, making him a nine, nine. Whoa! Oh, and he also gets a buff from the Vanquisher's Banner, which means he's a 10, 10. Oh, which means I would die from your manor damage if I didn't block it. Ooh, yeah. how do I make it a block? Yeah, how do I- Oh, what? No. <laughs> that would be nice. I will block with my 4-4 four, four beastie boy. That makes sense. Uh, that's the end of my turn. At your end step, I will do the cam thing mm -hmm. yet mm -hmm. again. Uh-huh. And that is another whip. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna take my turn now. Uh, untap. And I'll uh, untap my creatures as well. Waking Sun's Avatar. When it enters the battlefield, if you cast it from your hand, ta-da, destroy all nine dinos. No way. Yeah. From me. In response, though. This on the stack? Yes. I will tap three and beast within your aura shards. Resolves. Huh? All right. Does it resolve? I guess before that resolves, I'll do Kinnon again. See if I get another dino. It's, nope. I will choose not to. All right. Destroyed. My poor beast will be destroyed. It lived a beautiful life. <laughs> All right. A discovery trigger from Pantlaza. It was an eight, so it actually, it's a, for a seven, right? So discovery seven, it's with toughness. Do this only once each turn. Exile cards from top of the library until you exile a non-land card with that mana value or less. This works. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, seven, like the toughness is seven and this is a seven. So I'm hitting a flaming Tyrannosaurus. Now that was value. That was value. <laughs> it's a five-five menace, and whenever I cast a spell from anywhere other than my hand, this deals three damage to any target, and you put a counter on it. And when it dies, it deals damage equal to its power to each opponent. Damn. Go to combat, Ben. What? You've been just too much. So I'm yeah. attacking you with uh, all of my critters. These two have vigilance, and these two do not. Oh, wow. So. A 9-9 nine, nine trample, a 4-4, four, four, a 4-4, four, four, and a 3-3 three, three coming at you. Well, the biggest dude is Zakama, so I'm gonna block him. All right, Zakama has trample, so I'm gonna use its ability to deal three damage to the Nezahal. Oh. <laughs> so that means that Zakama is going to trample over for five, and that leaves the total damage at 16. Exactly. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh. I always get these big boards and never <laughs> pull them out. Hey! It's every time. Oh man! Oh. It, it's the dinos. You won with dinos yes. last time. That's... Shay, it's your turn. Do your worst. Okay, let's untap on my upkeep, Harold Torn. Let's check it out. Oh! It's a vampire motherfucker. <laughs> no! Whoa, whoa, whoa! You gotta reveal. <laughs> it's a Legion Lieutenant. All right, FYI. they are in there. Ooh. That's going to my hand. And then I'm gonna draw for turn. Okay. Guess what? What? It's another vampire. Whoa. <laughs> so you should, be, you should just but, pack it up. Better honestly. late than never, yeah. right? You should be scared. Okay. You should be really scared. Let's see what you got. All right, I'm tapping five for Crossway Troublemakers. Sounds <laughs> 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 like a little sass on that. What does that card do? Uh, so, attacking vampires you control have death touch and lifelink. Spooky. Whenever a vampire you control dies, you may pay two life. If you do, draw a card. Yes. I like that one. Yes. So when uh, he enters and when he's cast, I have some triggers here. Um, first, let's get the Edgar Barkov trigger. I'll make a vampire. And, oh, guys. These beautifully drawn tokens have just been waiting on the side for so long, and here it is. Oh, shout Art, out to Gina. Courtesy of Gina, <laughs> truly spectacular. Finally, finally. She's literally made like over 10 vampire tokens that we've been waiting to put on. <laughs> but Shake finally makes a vampire. Yes, yeah, so it finally happened. Um, okay, and then uh, I also have a Vanquisher's Banner trigger, and I'll draw a card. All right, then I will pay two for a Nighthawk Scavenger. Okay. Um, so Flying Death Touch Lifelink, and his power is equal to one plus the number of card types among cards in your opponent's graveyards. So that means he's, what, a 6-3 then? Yep, I've got five types in my graveyard, so well, those will just be that dice. Thanks. Also, when he enters, I got an Edgar Markov trigger. That's another vampire. Um, and then I've got a Vanquisher's Banner trigger. I'll draw a card. 
Yep. They don't have haste. Nope. But they're good blockers. They are here. They are here. <laughs> That's all I got. Pass to you. All right. All right. So I'm going to use the commas ability. I'm going to deal three damage to the Nighthawk Scavenger. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to use the commas ability. I'm going to deal three more to the Nighthawk Scavenger because of the Vanquisher's banner. Okay. So that will die. Yep. When it does, yeah. here's something wild. I'm going to use the Troublemaker's ability to pay two life and draw a card. Go digging. Okay, I drew my card. Is it a good one? No. <laughs> <laughs> Zakama's going to deal three damage to the cutest one, one vampire. <gasps> okay, when it dies, I'm going to do the same thing. Yeah, pay two. Okay. <laughs> okay, there. Move to combat. Mm -hmm. Here they come. Yep. Remember when dinos ruled the earth? Here they go, all attacking you. <sighs> wow. What's the, what's the total there on the on the dinos? What's what's all that damage? Thirty-three. Thirty-three. <laughs> <laughs> I believe if you make your best blocks, you're still taking twenty. Yeah. Yep. That sounds about right. GGS. <laughs> all right. <Yeah>. Okay. <laughs> uh, the dinos did it again. The wow. dinos did it again. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Maybe we need to bring Dino Shay. <laughs> I uh, apparently dinos are just undefeatable in Commander at the moment. Yeah. Uh, so that was uh, quite the brawl. <laughs> sea yeah. serpents, pirates, vampires, dinos, mm -hmm. and the prehistoric creatures reign once again. Let's go get our CoolStuffInc.com card of the game. It's time for the CoolStuffInc.com card of the game. Use the promo code WORST when you shop for cards like these to make your commander decks better. Get yourself a discount and show your love for the show. My card of the game is Waking Sun's Avatar. I have never cast this card in paper, and I was never so happy to see such a card as when yeah. it devastated Ben's board and left him exactly lethally dead. <laughs> Did you top deck it, or...? I had it in my hand. Okay. I was I was, yeah. I was setting that turn up. Yeah. I'm, a, yeah. I'm a crafty dino player. Oh, crafty. You know? I was ready to make him wake up! <laughs> it's Waking Sun's avatar. I woke him up. <laughs> Woo! Anyway, Blake, uh, yeah. card of the game. Yeah, my card of the game from Cool Stuff Inc. is Port Razor. I had such a sick start to this game where I went like a bunch of cheap mana, played like breaches, hit Ben with it, got his like mana crypt, played Port Razor. We're not gonna talk about what happened afterwards, but it was a <laughs> sick start to the game. So, poor Razor for what could have been is my card of the game. Nice. Ben, card of the game. I gotta give it to Merc Feed Liege, because it really <laughs> helped on tap all my creatures to do kin in like every end stuff. It put like 20 cards on the bottom of your deck, if not more. <laughs> yeah, I think more. <laughs> <laughs> Seedborn Muse at home also buffed your creatures and made yeah. them hit yeah. extra yeah. hard. Yeah. 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 All right, Shay, mm -hmm. CoolStuffInc.com card of the game. Uh, well, yeah, so my card of the game is Edgar Markov. He was out there really doing his best, soloing the mission, <laughs> just doing it. But on the sidelines, he had all of his friends who are just so adorable and cute and amazing. And they, they just, you know, they're like, Put me in, coach. Put me in, coach. But I just didn't draw enough vampires in time. I like the one that looks like the count. One. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. <laughs> we cursed it. Basically, basically over there making all these tokens, expecting all these vampires to happen, and uh, it just, just didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> you can't count your vampires before they hatch? Yep, that's what they say. Before they bite? No. no. <laughs> but what you can count on is another excellent episode of the Worst Possible Commander Show, because we'll be back. <laughs> next week to provide you even more of the worst possible commander entertainment. Thank you for watching this episode. On behalf of my friends, Blake and Ben <laughs> and Shay. <laughs> it's me at CGV reminding all of you. You're, you're cool. cool.